In this instruction, we will show you how to apply the electrodes for one of our resting ECGs, the MS2015, in order to achieve a good electrical signal and ensure a successful recording. The electrode greatly affects the transmission of signals from the skin. Therefore, check the expiry date on the package and ensure that the storage conditions stated on the electrode packaging have been adhered to. We recommend that Schiller electrodes are always used to ensure the quality of the signals. Skin preparation is essential for electrode adhesion and conduction. Good skin preparation is the secret of a successful recording. First, if there is any hair on the electrode skin areas, shave it to provide better electrode contact and help reduce painful removal of the electrodes. Clean the skin area with either alcohol or soap and water to remove skin oils. Please note that if the patient has sensitive skin, it is usually better to use soap and water to minimize skin irritation. After cleaning, let the skin dry thoroughly. We will show you the four most common electrode placements. These are standard, posterior leads, right precordial leads, and right precordial lead C4R. Standard leads. Place the electrodes as follows. Red, R, right arm above the wrist. Yellow, L, left arm above the wrist. Green, F, left foot above the ankle. Black, N, right foot above the ankle. C1, red, fourth intercostal space at the right sternal border. C2, yellow, fourth intercostal space at the left sternal border. C4, brown, in the fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line. C6, purple, mid axillary line at the same height as C4 and C5. C3, green, between positions C2 and C4. C5, black, on the anterior axillary line at the same height as C4. After the electrodes have been placed on the patient, connect the patient cable leads to the electrodes. Check the ECG signal on the screen. Ensure that a good signal is displayed. Posterior leads are recommended if an acute coronary occlusion is strongly suspected due to clinical results and anamnesis, or in the case of persistent symptoms. The electrodes C1 to C3 need to be repositioned as follows. C7 red on the posterior axillary line, C8 yellow on the scapular line, C9 green on the paravertebral line. Check the ECG signal on the screen. Ensure that a good signal is displayed. Right precordial leads C3R, C4R, C5R and C6R are recommended in the case of an acute infarction of the left ventricle's inferior wall. The electrodes C3 to C6 need to be repositioned as follows. C3R, green, inverted C3. C4R, brown, inverted C4. C5R, black, inverted C5. C6R, purple, inverted C6. Check the ECG signal on the screen. Ensure that a good signal is displayed. Right precordial lead, C4R, is recommended for patients suffering from a myocardial infarction with inferior ST elevation. The electrode, C4 brown, needs to be repositioned in the inverted C4 position. Check the ECG signal on the screen. Ensure that a good signal is displayed. For continued success in ECG recording, we recommend the following new units from Schiller. 
AT10+, AT102+, MS2007, MS2010. For more detailed product information, please contact your local dealer or visit us at schiller.ch.